Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about a module called Feedback, Feedback Module. With this module, you can build a very simple, let's say in this case here, a very simple contact form that you can, that uh, the users of your site can contact you can contact the admin of the site. So it's a very simple module. It's not a pay module, it's a free module. And you can find that module in the .NET Nook website. It's one of the project, uh, one of the projects in the .NET Nook website. If you go to .NET Nook.com, log in, I'm already logged in, and go to downloads. On the left side, you can see projects downloads. So you can click there. First of all, we, we are just downloading the, the, the module and then scroll down and go to module feedback. There is this, the installation and the source. We're going to go for the installation right now. So from here, I can go to install, which, is, which has this little disk here. If in here you can see the minimal version that needs to be running, I'll be installing that the module in a DNN five. So I'm going to click on the download image. It redirects to CodePlex. I will agree with this. And it asks me if I want to save it. Of course, I want to save it. So it's saved. I'm just going to open the folder that I have it saved. Okay, so here's the file. I'm going to copy this location and I'm going to my test website where I'm going to install the module. So I have to log into the backend as super user because I have to install the module. So this is my super user. I'm going to log in and then I'm going to host module definitions. Just installing as a regular module, install module, click browse, go to the folder and here is the feedback module. So I'm going to click open and hit next, hit next again, agree with the, oh, hit next again, then I accept the license, click next. Not much to do here, just wait for the installation to run. So let's just check if everything went fine, installation successful. Perfect, so let's click return. Okay, so now let's have a look and see if it was installed. So uh, we have the feedback module right here. Perfect, so let's create a, let's click quickly create a new page so we can add that module. So this will be our contact us page. Let's put contact us and it will be visible by our users and I will include it in the menu. So let's click update. And from here, I'm going to delete this HTML module at the drop down on the drop down of uh, add module at the top. We're going to select the feedback module. Here it is. Let's click add module. So uh, when we add the feedback module to a page, there are two areas. There are two actually two modules added to the page. One is the feedback comments and the other one is the actual feedback area. Now, feedback comments uh, you can keep in the page if you want. But, uh, but keep in mind that any, any user that submits a message, submits a feedback, this, the feedback will be listed in the, in the feedback comment list. So it's up to you. I mean, you can delete this module. You can just hide it. Uh, because in any case, this information will be sent via email to the site administrator. So up to you if you want to keep the comments or not for now, for our test. I will be keeping that. But for instance, in, in the site here that I'm showing, there's no comment section. There's just the form here, as you can see. So let's go back there and let's have a look now 
on the settings of the feedback module. So uh, first option here, we have feedback moderation management. Here we can see the list of comments that were made and you can, you can moderate them. In our case, we want to use this as a simple contact us form. And there is also a feedback category uh, subject list here. You, you can actually create different types of uh, subjects and the user who's filled out the form can select what kind of category they, they want to talk about. Let's say that you want to list the different departments of the company. So you can have accounting, marketing, sales, whatever is applicable to your situation. So let's, let's, um, let's click here. Let's have a look at the categories. Let's put here marketing and I'm going to keep value as marketing as well. This is active. Let's save this. Let's add sales. This is active and let's click save. And let's add one last counting and let's save this and then return to module. <clears throat> As you can see now, because we have added categories, there's a category field in the, in the form as well that the person will be, the user will be able to select which category they want to send that uh, note to. Uh, let's have a look again there on the settings area. So under the settings, let's scroll all the way down. So even though it's a, it's a free module, but there are a couple of different and very good options here. First one is that you can send the feedback uh, form, the contact form, the, the feedback information to an email address and you can put the email address here. Let's say address at denonhero.com and then you can separate by commas if I'm not mistaken. Yes, semicolons, semicolons. Okay, so we can separate if we want more than one address. If we want to send to a particular, to all the users in a particular role, we can check here as well. Let's say I want to send to administrators as well. Send from, you can put the email address that uh, should uh, be specified in the email as, as the from address. Send a copy to the person who's filled out the form because we ask for their email address so we can send a copy of their own feedback to their own email. Now, uh, if we send a copy to them, there's an option that they can opt out. I've never tested that, but hey, it's here. This option, send email asynchronously, you can check it or not. Um, this is maybe not that relevant right now because hopefully we're not sending this to a thousand uh, emails, but uh, a thousand email address, but uh, if you you have the option to send emails uh, asynchronously or synchronously, and you can do that by checking this option. Now there are a couple more settings down here, but for now let's save this. Let's just update, and now I'm gonna flip. I'm in Firefox. I'm gonna flip to Internet Explorer to see how this is looking like in Internet Explorer. Let's refresh this page. So here it's how it's looking like. Now, what I'll be doing next is I'll be converting this into a real contact us form. So we're gonna be changing a little bit of the names and what, what says here, and uh, I'll be changing a little bit of the look and feel. So this is the end of part one of the video on uh, the feedback module 